today is to um, announce the um, judging panel for this next competition. We have a tremendous collection of theatre people uh, who have agreed to be on the panel. We're really gr grateful and pleased that um, they've all agreed to be so. Uh, we have two of our finest actors uh, in the country uh, who have both shown, I think, a great commitment uh, both on stage and screen. Uh, Sue Johnston, who unfortunately can't be here this evening, and Maxine Peake, who is definitely here this evening somewhere. There she is over there, yes. Um, also, we have the poet, uh, playwright, uh, novelist, uh, columnist, I think, all-round excellent person and a great inspiration to many people, Jackie Kay. Um, representing the Royal Exchange is my fellow artistic director, uh, um, Sarah Frankham. Sarah's really been at the forefront of the new writing uh, at the Exchange over many years now and has made a huge contribution, I think, to the whole dynamism and energy this company has in relation to new writing. She's also directing Winterlong next week, which is opening in the studio. Uh, representing the uh, informed man in the street and also the uh, chairman of Bruntwood, uh, Mike Oglesby, who's on the jury. And finally, uh, the chair is a writer, playwright, who's had a long and wonderful and continuing association with this particular company, uh, his plays have been seen all over the country and internationally. I think he's one of the most influential and important playwrights of our times. Uh, straight out of Stockport, Mr. Simon Stevens. Thanks, Greg. Straight out of Stockport, I like that. That's good. Straight out of, straight out of Stockport. Um, I normally get actors to do things like this. It's terrible. It's a terrible mistake. But it is a real privilege to uh, be asked to chair this year's Bromwood Prize for playwriting. The last five years has seen an unprecedented level of playwriting in this country, I think. Uh, Theatres throughout the UK have committed to producing new plays by new writers to a quite remarkable degree. And I think the Bromwood Prize has been at the vanguard of that development. Well, I think it's a fantastic opportunity for uh, writers, perhaps particularly writers at the start of their careers, to be able to write a play and make a connection with us here at the Royal Exchange and indeed other theatres around the country and have their work uh, acknowledged and uh, connected with and developed with a view to full production. Well, one of the things which is most exciting to me about this year's competition is the first competition that's been held under the new government. And I think that will change things. And the most exciting thing about being a judge in this competition rather than a participant is I have no idea how it's going to change things. I don't know how playwrights are going to respond to the new conditions established by this government, but I think they will respond. <laughs> playwrights at their best are a counterintuitive, disobedient bunch. I don't expect, and I certainly don't hope, that we'll find plays more dominated by lengthy, angry monologues or polemic. But I think there will be a change in the, way, in the ways in which playwrights use and juxtapose metaphor and image, structure and dramatic action to explore that which they want to explore or say that which they want to say. I think this year's Bromwood's Prize for Playwriting could be, again, at the vanguard of that change. The plays we read could offer us an insight into those shifts in this country that is as illuminating and energising as the shifts are unsettling. In that sense, I can't wait to start reading. We are going to go through really tough times in this country and the cuts haven't really started to bite yet and they are going to get a lot worse. And it's competitions like Bruntwood who really give new writers the opportunity to be dangerous and exciting and a little bit dazzling and I think they really need to be commended for for the work that they do and for pushing this competition forward I think it's brilliant. Bruntwood is so massively important for new writers and write, playwrights uh, in general because you enter the competition completely anonymously um, so everyone's on an equal footing really and it's so important now we all know how difficult the difficult times we're living in and things are going to get a lot worse and um, it's people like Bruntwood who are supporting the arts um, when they're in the most need to be supported and I think it's really commendable that um, a company like Bruntwood um, 
really does support the arts and new writing especially which is, is just so so important the only reason we've got fit is because new writing keeps on perpetuating, perpetuating itself so I think it's extremely important and um, fantastic and you know big round of applause to Bruntwood new playwrights, the more you can encourage new talent, I think competition does that, it will encourage and inspire people to write a play who, you know, maybe have thought about it but never have the confidence to know where to start, what theatres to send it to, who to get in touch with, the agent, so it just really, you know, it, it, it sort of, I don't know, it's just that we need more things that inspire people to, to have a go, and I always think you can never have too many playwrights. I just wanted to write a play and I put it in for this and I, I didn't have massive expectations. I was just really pleased I'd written a play and I was so shocked and amazed to be shortlisted and I remember I was looking at it just before my A-level drama lesson and I saw I'd been shortlisted and I was like a mad woman in that, that lesson. I was like, ah! and like, oh my God, what's wrong with Miss? What's wrong with that? And, and I didn't tell them, I didn't tell them anything about it. And, um, and then to come up and win the, win, be one of the four, four prize winners was absolutely amazing as well. Yeah, no, I'm really excited. I've never done it before, so I've never judged anything. So I feel sort of like a little bit um, inexperienced, but I, I have read a, read a lot of new plays and new plays you know, excite me very much. And there's nothing better than reading a play that you know nothing about. So for that, I'm kind of can't wait. I'm looking for plays that have an emotional truth to them that have authentic and original voices that are arresting, that make me discover something new about myself. Um, I'm not necessarily looking for naturalism, not necessarily looking for surrealism either. I'm looking for something that, that has a bit of an edge to it and that really makes me think with my heart, if you can think with your heart. <laughs> As a judge, what I've been looking for is originality, passion, honesty, a little bit of humour. You know, just I think honesty is the main thing, and something that I feel speaks to people in whatever way that might might be. You never really know what to expect, but um, I'm kind of really hoping that there are some unex really unexpected plays about unexpected things. It's the sort of I'm waiting to read a play that I've never um, I've never the play I've never read before. <laughs> It's, it's quite amazing. It, it, it really only seems like yesterday um, when uh, my wife Jean and I were sitting in a restaurant in Didsbury uh, with Bram and Sarah and we were chatting about what we might do in the future. We uh, sponsored quite a lot of new plays and where we might take it. And before the evening was up, we'd, um, we'd devised the competition and uh, agreed to do it and, and we were up and running. Uh, it, it really is fantastic uh, when you consider, you know, we've probably in that short period of time something like three, four thousand new plays. Um, we've had six of them produced here. Um, I, I mean, it really is just, just, just amazing. And uh, also to hear people talking about the Bruntwood, you know, uh, the, 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 you know, uh, winning a Bruntwood. Um, it's it's just become part of uh, part of the language, and you know to be honest with you, from a from a hard nosed commercial standpoint, that's that's really great. It, it really is. Over the years, having met the people who uh, who have entered, um, a number of them, it's been their first play. It's been their and and, and it's been transform transformational as far as they're concerned. It really has changed their lives. Um, and that's one of the great things about it. It really does change people's life. People become playwrights very often who certainly wouldn't have called themselves that before they started in the competition.